Doctors all across the metro are using new ways to detect and treat the deadly disease. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth explains the impact this could have. Thank you. Charles Bean is at North Kansas City Hospital undergoing his 19th radiation treatment and so far has zero side effects. Yeah, you don't even know it's being done. That's because the radiation administered is more accurate than ever before. There's more push now towards you know, focusing radiation beam into a smaller volume, which is where the tumor is. Localized radiation without damaging nearby healthy tissue has always been the goal, but it's been nearly impossible, especially with the prostate, a gland that can move with simple breathing and digestion. The big change has been the Calypso system, featuring these little guys. The beacons are tracking the prostate and accounting for organ motion. Electromagnetic beacons no larger than a grain of rice. Three of them are implanted in the patient's prostate so that during treatment, radio waves communicate with the radiation device above the patient. Think of it as a GPS for the body, allowing the machine to track the tumor's movement in real time. If the prostate moves, radiation pauses. Without the Calypso, side effects could mount quickly. But even more important than preventing side effects is how the University of Kansas Cancer Center is finding new ways to detect prostate cancer. These are basically uh, huge cement barriers that contain the radiation. This is called a cyclometer, but what's new is how they're using it. The 40-ton machine takes hydrogen and turns it into a radioactive carbon as it accelerates at nearly the speed of light. The unstable carbon is then attached to an acetate molecule and immediately injected into the patient. This is important because the man-made molecule has a shelf life of minutes and acts like a tracker, gravitating towards prostate cancer cells in the body. Any detected cancer lights up like a Christmas tree. Think of it like tagging an animal and then watching to see where it goes on a map. So what we're really doing here is molecular imaging. We are actually imaging molecules rather than just anatomical structures. Which is paramount for two reasons. Number one, 40% of those with prostate cancer will have a recurrence, a higher rate than any other type of cancer. Number two, up to 75% of cancer molecules can be missed with a traditional CT scan. The CT was read as negative. Uh, there's a little tiny node here that you would never call on CT. This is the metabolic picture, and this little node that we see right here is hot. And innovative ways to detect cancer aren't just being discovered for prostate patients. One of the things we've figured out is that some of that tumor DNA also gets into your blood. St. Luke's is using an inventive method to detect cancer, especially those with lung cancer, from something called a liquid biopsy. You start a treatment, and it's working, and you want to know whether it's working or not you can do this test. If it is not working, you can find out what's changed. An initial cancer diagnosis still demands a traditional tissue biopsy. But to monitor tumors, see how they're changing, resisting drugs, instead of more possible risky and painful biopsies, a simple blood test with a new high-tech, intricate process can reveal mounds of vital information. All of our research has shown that our patients are doing much better in terms of not just living longer, in terms of toxicity of treatment, that's one of the other things patients worry about. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Northland, instead of worrying about cancer... Yeah, my last treatment is December 21st. Mr. Bean will be able to enjoy the holidays as much as anyone. And the following week, I'm headed to the beach. All right. Which beach? Uh, Pensacola Beach. Nice. Yeah. Josh Elmuth, 41 Action News.